What is up? I'm Juan Turtle, and today we have another Hidden Fates opening. We are going to be opening up the second box we initially got that were basically damaged in shipping. The first one, uh, we posted a video about it. Basically, Rayquaza was ripped in half. Uh, ripped that Rayquaza. But uh, taking a look at the second box, um, so you can tell that it's kind of like on its side. It's at a weird angle. But it does look like the figure is attached. Reading different comments, a lot of people said like the arm was broke, their arm was broken off. And this one, uh, you can't really tell from this angle, but I did take a look and it does look like both arms are intact. So it's very possible that the figure is okay. You know, last time there wasn't too much pack damage to the five packs that were kind of floating around there. So we're gonna crack this open. Obviously, I'm gonna take a lot of pictures and stuff like that. So if there are any is any significant damage, I can report that to the vendor and try to get some money back so hopefully we're going to have another intact figure another 15 packs of hidden fates to open for you guys and hopefully get some more good pulls the first box actually both boxes that we opened so far have been great definitely go check out those videos we basically got the best cards in the set so i'm hoping to repeat some of that luck let's do this all right, so some super positive news rayquaza is still all in one piece I feel like the most, the only damage was his ears, or whatever these are. Yeah, I'm gonna call them his ears. They're slightly bent. Um, this is kind of malleable, so I think I'm not sure what the best way to straighten it is. But either way, over overall, it's not the end of the world. It looks kind of weird compared to the. So I guess I looked at the other one. His ears are kind of just like straight. But the important part is his head is intact. This part is kind of wiggly, but I think that's always the case. His arms are both there. We can still use it as a card stand, so not too bad. Uh, here is a code card. I took a look at the promos. The promos look fine as well. We'll take a quick look. Yeah, so no worries the, for these guys. Obviously, they're kind of protected by those plungers. All right, and then these are the five packs that were underneath the figure. Um, so these are obviously bouncing around in the package. So as far as packs go, I'm not that worried, but if there is any damage, it would be to these five. So we're gonna start with these five. Hopefully we can get some good pulls in, but more importantly, hopefully there is no damage on those cards. That would be quite a tragedy if a shiny Charizard or something like Cynthia is damaged in the from the packaging. Alright, for our first pack, we have a Darkness Energy. So I'll put these sideways. Charmeleon, Misty, Scyther, Coughing, Paris, Cubone, a Voltorb, Geodude, a Kangaskhan, and then a Reverse Water Energy. I forgot my sleeves, I'll be right back. Our Reverse Energy to start things off. That's just okay, I suppose. Need to fix my piles, and let's keep going. We have a Legendary Birds pack art. I'll start finding some GX's and stuff like that. I So far, my experience with these premium boxes has been the pull rates have been very good. And not only are they good ratios, but the quality of the hits is very high. Especially considering compared to like the pin collection, the tins, even the ETBs. Alright, for this pack we have Caterpie, Ekans, Paris, a Snorlax is our rare. And then a Nurse Joy. So as far as the packs being damaged, it's all good. There's nothing too crazy in these anyway. No harm, no foul kind of situation, I suppose. And the ears I can probably live with, but uh, we'll talk about it with the vendor. All right, let's see. Grass Energy, Charmeleon, a Magmar, Scyther, Charmander, Cleef Fairy, Psyduck, Magikarp, Staryu, another Snorlax, Another Nurse Joy? Nope, Jolteon. Whew, alright, so the Rayquaza survived, but the rough pulls so far. People, some people some have said that they've seen some real duds, and we've been doing very well, but uh, maybe is it possible our luck has run out, and uh, you know, averages, law of averages has caught up to us. Alright, Pikachu, Clefairy. Jigglypuff and Brock's training. Ooh, Garchomp shiny, nice. Let's take a look what kind. Alright, so this is that super glossy one again. I do like the like the one with a lot of texture. Hopefully, we can find some of those again. Uh, I feel like this one is very off center, and I don't know, like the extra gloss, especially on the edges. I'm not sure if you can really see it. Um, honestly, it's less appealing. 
I like the feel texture, the textured feel much better. I think sometimes when there's like a over, over glossed, it kind of reminds me of some like fake cards I've seen. So I think that's the turn off there and I prefer the tex texture. All right, last pack for the cards that are potentially damaged and every all these cards seem to be perfectly fine. So that is the good news. All right, Bill's analysis, really good card. And then just a reverse coughing. So, wow, five packs already in and one plus hit so far to show for it. All right, we're gonna need to make up some ground in these last 10 packs to make this opening worth it. All right, let's see, we have Sabrina, Nurse Joy, Cubone, Voltorb, Geodude, Eevee, Clefairy, Misty's Water Command. Ooh, just a Geodude. All right, let's, uh, let's kick it up. Just seeing if there's any damage on the back of that, but it seems to be okay. Misty, Scyther, Jinx, Charmander, Clefairy, Psyduck, Magikarp, Staryu, Butterfree. Ooh, nice. We've been pulling a few of these. Oh, nice. All right. So this is the textured version. So uh, well, let me show actually this Garchomp in comparison. I don't know why I find this very interesting, but I do. So let me see if I can get them. All right. So yeah, you can really see the difference here. The Lucario has that nice texturing. Garchomp has this super glossiness from the same box as well. So assuming these come from different print runs. Let me sleep both these guys back up and we'll keep going. But yeah, Lucario is a very nice pickup. I, don't know, I feel like I get a lot of dupes of the same shinies. Good amount of the Garchomp um, species line. All of a sudden we're getting Lucarios, which I love. Oh man, it's like tons of Magneton. Which are Magnemite, which is I'm less crazy about in Beldum, but the Quagsires I'm really happy about. Obviously, any Inkes or Malamars are always welcome as well. So it's been like some less lesser shinies. Not, I'm not sure if that's the right word for it, but and then some really good ones. So it kind of evens itself out. Just interesting distribution. Paris, a Wigglytuff, okay, and then Charmander. Want another shiny Charmander? Wigglytuff is just all right. All right, we have seven packs, including this one. All right, so the hits are starting to come. We're just going to need to keep this momentum going. We're going to make our ratio that we're going for, which is always plus 50%. Hidden Fates is always such a joy to open. And... Uh, yeah, whenever we do something else, I start messing up the pack trick because I do like to put the reverse slot in the back card as that is where the shinies come from. But no shiny in this pack, just a Psyduck. Six packs remaining. As always, guys, if you want to do support the channel, do me a favor, hit that like button. It does really help the channel grow and reach new viewers. So, yeah, definitely do so. And, um, yeah, appreciate that. We did recently cross the 800 sub threshold, and uh, I just want to let make sure that we're going to stay above there. Every once in a while, you know, your sub count can go down, but um, we will do a giveaway in the near future. I'm thinking like an ETB or something like that. Maybe a Hidden Fates ETB, as I do have some of those left over. But um, yeah, I suppose it could be something like Cosmic instead, but we'll play that by ear. But uh, yeah, just something to look forward to. And uh, once again, thanks again for all the support. Whether it's through watching our live streams, uh, Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday, or just liking our videos, being a subscriber. You can follow us on Instagram, join our Discord. And uh, yeah, we need to start getting some more hits. Ah, just a Mew. And Geodude, four packs left. Let's just do a quick recap so far. Oh boy, this is not going to cut it. I'll call that like three plus hits. Even if all these, we're going to need like a double, 
double whammy pack in one of these to even have a chance to get into that eight. I suppose if nothing else, we do have these sick promos the with the Rayquaza, Lunala, which is just okay, and then the Zogaleo, which is a super useful card, especially in the Mewtwo, uh, Mew, Mew Mewtwo tag team decks. All right, Pikachu, Jigglypuff, Ekans, Coughing, Bill's Analysis, uh, just a reverse energy. It's not nothing, but that's not what we're looking for. All right, Charizard Pack Art, you know what to do. And if you're new to the channel, guys, welcome, and I uh, hope you do subscribe for more content. We do a mix of everything that is Pokemon, whether it's the pack opening side, the collector side, we take a look at secondary market stuff, as well as do a lot of competitive stuff, which is basically what all our live streams are. So if you ever want to, if you think you're interested in learning the game, um, either catch one of our live streams or you can watch one of the, uh, they basically are posted as YouTube videos as well. Hoga's Trap, ooh. Man, I think we, yeah, we just used all of our good fortune in those first two boxes. And uh, yeah, luck's run out. This is a very disappointing box. While I'm happy that we, oops. While I'm happy that we did, we do have another figure that we can use. We didn't even pull a card that's worth putting in that slot. Alright, Psyduck, Magikarp, Staryu, Misty's Water Command, the Mr. Mime. Alright, last pack. I feel like we're gonna need a home run gold card or something to, uh, I don't know, just still play catch up. Still won't, I don't think we'll make this a successful opening, but, uh, yikes, that was rough. All right, Charmeleon, Ekans, Paris, Caterpie, Charmander, Cleef Fairy, Butterfree is our last rare. The cards are falling over. This is not gone. <laughs> this is bad stuff. Um, but hey, you know what? It was fun to open. I'm happy we do have another figure that we can use to display some cards. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. Ah, Cleef Fable, reverse rare, I suppose. Uh, Thanks for watching. I'm Wanda Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time.